while effectively you have mentioned the, the, the disasters that we have seen recently really show us the, the severity of the problem. Uh, myself, I work for REN21, which is a multi-stakeholder network for renewable energy. Our focus is, of course, on the energy sector, and there we know that uh, the goals of the Paris Agreement mean nothing else than a total decarbonization of the energy sector. Um, we are uh, promoting, this will happen uh, mainly with renewable energy and energy efficiency, and so we are strongly working on these areas. I think it's very important that government and the private sector closely work together. Uh, we are ourselves a multi-stakeholder network. We are um, we're bringing the private and the public sector together because the solutions, uh, but also the challenges, they are very complex and they, they, they need on the one hand the uh, political framework, but they also need the solutions from the private sector and uh, and these together with civil society will, um, will make it happen. We public and the private sector listen to each other. Uh, I think a, a, a COP is always a great space for displaying solutions. It's also a place for, for creating hope to, to see and to network and to see that there's so many people around the world really working for uh, the, the well-being of the planet is something which is very encouraging and, and I think uh, it provides a very good framework. But I think also that it is really needed to uh, to step up efforts and I think it's very important that uh, that the that civil society is really uh, demanding from its uh, governments uh, that actions are following the words. Absolutely, I think what, what we see with the, the Paris Agreement uh, and the, the mechanisms of the NDCs, it's the step in the right direction. I mean, governments committing to long-term strategies, long-term targets. Uh, we see in the NDCs that renewable energy and energy efficiency is playing a critical role. Uh, we also uh, must be aware that 2050 is at our doorstep. It is, we are 33 years away. This is about an investment cycle in the, in the energy industry. So it means that the decisions that we take today, the investments that we make today, will be the ones that, uh, that shape uh, our energy system that we have in 2050. And, uh, and what we have to do now is really move from lip service to concrete actions.